You've told me that there are a bunch of Coloradans, you guys at home, making masks, sewing them together, not yet sure if healthcare workers will be able to use them. The WHO recommends against using any kind of homemade mask. Our state health department told us they would certainly be willing to look at and test any mask, especially if they're able to be mass produced in some format. I am guessing they're gonna wanna check out the masks from the operation that our Marshall Zellinger found. The barriers make it clear, school is closed. But there's a hum coming from inside North Glen High School, and it's not the school choir. We have printers running 24 hours a day. In fact, last night I was here at 1 a.m. Uh, setting up all the printers to be uh, the next round. 16 3D printers are creating basic masks to cover your nose and mouth with a space to put a small filter. Not the type of masks to replace an N95, just the kind to help with regular procedures. You know, in four and a half hours, I can print one mask. We actually just broke 100 a little bit ago, so that was kind of an exciting thing. To print this costs us about $2.50 in filament. A spool of filament can last quite some time, but it's about $20. But does the state health department condone 3D masks like these or the home sewn masks? During a conference call, we asked the state's emergency management incident commander. We would certainly put it through a pretty thorough testing before asking our medical professionals, healthcare workers, or first responders to use them. This type of mask has already been printed in Billings, Montana. The doctor helping in Montana, a CU School of Medicine graduate. The school helping in Colorado, the type that encourages students to innovate. At North Carolina High School, we practice problem-based learning, so this is a real problem that we're all dealing with, and uh, what a great application for our, our, our school and our school to help out in the community. The point of the printed mask itself is to secure to your face like this. It's that section in the middle. You could take a regular procedure mask, pretty much cut it into five or six pieces, and you would have five or six uses. You could reuse the mask itself. It's just the filter kyle that would have to be reused after every patient. And I know that these health departments, Marshall, they're, they're trying to give best practice guidelines in a perfect world, and yet we hear nurses and doctors saying it's about to be a very imperfect world and we can take whatever we can get. So I think people might as well keep going after these items if they can. And on a side note, have you put more things on your shelf since yesterday? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, it looks more full than yesterday. It's very, very nice. Your home is, is gorgeous. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you.